What is film capacitors and its applications? Film capacitors are a type of capacitor that use a thin plastic film as the dielectric material. They are known for their stability, reliability, and wide range of capacitance values. Here are some key points about film capacitors. The dielectric material in a capacitor is the insulating material that separates the two conductive plates, preventing direct electrical contact between them while allowing the storage and release of electrical charge. The dielectric material determines the capacitance value, voltage rating, temperature stability, and other characteristics of the capacitor. Different types of dielectric materials are used in capacitors, each with its own properties and suitability for specific applications. Here are some commonly used dielectric materials in capacitors. Ceramic, ceramic materials such as titanium dioxide, TiO2, and barium titanate, BaTiO3 are used in ceramic capacitors. Ceramic capacitors offer a wide range of capacitance values, high voltage ratings, and good temperature stability. They are widely used in electronic circuits. Polyester, mylar polyester film, PET, is commonly used as the dielectric material in polyester film capacitors, also known as mylar capacitors. They offer a stable capacitance over a wide temperature range, low cost, and are suitable for general purpose applications. Polypropylene, PP polypropylene film, PP, is used as the dielectric material in polypropylene film capacitors. PP capacitors offer excellent temperature stability, low dielectric losses, and high insulation resistance. They are commonly used in audio systems, precision electronics, and applications requiring high performance. Polycarbonate, PC polycarbonate film, PC, is used as the dielectric material in polycarbonate film capacitors. PC capacitors provide good stability, low losses, and high accuracy. They are used in applications requiring high precision and reliability. Tantalum pentoxide, TA205 tantalum pentoxide is used as the dielectric material in tantalum electrolytic capacitors. Tantalum capacitors offer high capacitance values, good stability, and low leakage current. They are commonly used in applications where space is limited and stable capacitance is required. Aluminum oxide, Al203 aluminum oxide is used as the dielectric material in aluminum electrolytic capacitors. Aluminum capacitors offer high capacitance values, high voltage ratings, and are commonly used in power supply filtering and decoupling applications. Polyethylene terephthalate, PET polyethylene terephthalate film is used as the dielectric material in PET film capacitors. PET capacitors provide good electrical properties, stability, and are suitable for general purpose applications. Polyphenylene sulfide, PPS polyphenylene sulfide film is used as the dielectric material in PPS film capacitors. PPS capacitors offer excellent temperature stability, high reliability, and are suitable for demanding applications, including automotive electronics and high temperature environments. The choice of dielectric material depends on the specific requirements of the application, including capacitance value, voltage rating, temperature stability, cost, and other performance factors. Each dielectric material has its own advantages and limitations, making it important to select the appropriate dielectric for the desired capacitor characteristics and application. The capacitance range refers to the range of capacitance values available for capacitors. Capacitance is the ability of a capacitor to store electrical charge and is measured in farads, F, or its multiples, such as microfarads, F, nanofarads, NF, or picofarads, PF. The capacitance range can vary widely depending on the type and size of the capacitor. Here are some general ranges for different types of capacitors. Ceramic capacitors, ceramic capacitors offer a wide range of capacitance values. They are available in capacitance ranges from picofarads, PF, to microfarads, F. Ceramic capacitors can have capacitance values as low as a few picofarads and as high as several microfarads. Electrolytic capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, including aluminum electrolytic and tantalum electrolytic capacitors, typically offer higher capacitance values compared to other types of capacitors. 
Aluminum electrolytic capacitors have capacitance values ranging from microfarads, F, to farads, F. Tantalum electrolytic capacitors usually range from fractions of a microfarad to several hundred microfarads. Film capacitors, film capacitors are available in a wide range of capacitance values, providing flexibility for different applications. The capacitance range for film capacitors can vary from picofarads, PF, to several microfarads, F, or even higher. The specific range depends on the type of film capacitor, such as polyester film capacitors, polypropylene film capacitors, or polycarbonate film capacitors. Variable capacitors, variable capacitors are designed to have an adjustable capacitance value. They are commonly used in tuning circuits and variable electronic applications. The capacitance range for variable capacitors can vary from a few picofarads to several hundred picofarads. It's important to note that the capacitance range can vary depending on the specific manufacturer, series, and size of the capacitor. Capacitance values outside the typical ranges mentioned above may also be available for specialized or custom-designed capacitors. When selecting a capacitor, it is important to choose a capacitance value that suits the specific application requirements and falls within the appropriate range for the chosen capacitor type. Stability and accuracy are important considerations when working with capacitors. Here's an explanation of stability and accuracy in relation to capacitors. Stability, stability refers to the ability of a capacitor to maintain its specified characteristics over time and under different operating conditions. It involves the capacitance value remaining relatively constant over temperature variations, voltage changes, and aging effects. Stable capacitors ensure consistent performance and reliable operation in electronic circuits. Temperature stability, temperature stability refers to how well a capacitor maintains its capacitance value over a range of temperatures. Capacitors with good temperature stability exhibit minimal changes in capacitance with temperature variations. Voltage stability, voltage stability refers to the ability of a capacitor to maintain its capacitance value under different applied voltages. Stable capacitors exhibit little variation in capacitance with voltage changes. Aging stability, aging stability refers to how well a capacitor retains its capacitance value over time. Some capacitors may experience a gradual decrease in capacitance due to aging effects, such as the breakdown or degradation of the dielectric material. Accuracy, accuracy in capacitors relates to how closely the actual capacitance value matches the specified or labeled capacitance value. Accurate capacitors have capacitance values that closely match the intended value, allowing for precise circuit operation and reliable performance. Tolerance, capacitors are typically labeled with a capacitance tolerance, which indicates the permissible deviation from the specified capacitance value. For example, a capacitor with a plus or minus 10% tolerance means that the actual capacitance can deviate by up to 10% from the labeled value. Precision capacitors, in applications that require high accuracy and tight tolerances, precision capacitors are used. These capacitors have tighter capacitance tolerances, such as plus or minus 1% or even tighter, to ensure more precise capacitance values. Stability and accuracy are crucial factors to consider when selecting capacitors for specific applications. In applications where precise capacitance values are required, such as in timing circuits, filters, or signal processing circuits, capacitors with high stability and accuracy are preferred. Capacitors with good stability and accuracy help maintain consistent performance, ensure proper circuit operation, and minimize errors or variations in the desired electrical characteristics. Low dielectric losses refer to the characteristic of a capacitor's dielectric material to minimize energy losses within the capacitor. Dielectric losses, also known as dissipation factor or tangent delta, tan, represent the amount of energy that is converted into heat within the dielectric material as the capacitor charges and discharges. Here are some key points about low dielectric losses in capacitors. Dielectric material, the choice of dielectric material greatly influences the dielectric losses in a capacitor. Different dielectric materials have varying levels of dielectric losses due to their inherent properties. 
Efficiency. Capacitors with low dielectric losses are more efficient in storing and releasing electrical energy. This efficiency is particularly important in applications where high power transmission, minimal energy losses, or high signal integrity is desired. High frequency performance, low dielectric losses are crucial for capacitors used in high frequency applications. Capacitors with low dielectric losses minimize energy dissipation and help maintain the integrity of signals by reducing losses caused by the dielectric material. Power factor correction, low dielectric losses are desirable in power factor correction, PFC, circuits. PFC capacitors are used to improve the power factor of electrical systems by reducing reactive power and minimizing energy losses. Capacitors with low dielectric losses contribute to the overall efficiency of the PFC circuit. Heating and efficiency considerations, low dielectric losses result in less heat generation within the capacitor. This is beneficial in applications where temperature rise needs to be minimized to ensure reliable and stable performance. Lower heat generation improves the overall efficiency of the capacitor and reduces the risk of thermal stress. Dielectric loss factor, TAN The dielectric loss factor, or tangent delta, TAN, is a parameter that quantifies the dielectric losses in a capacitor. It represents the ratio of the dielectric losses to the energy stored in the capacitor. Capacitors with low TAN have low dielectric losses. Capacitors with low dielectric losses are commonly used in applications such as power electronics, high-frequency circuits, telecommunications, audio systems, and other applications where energy efficiency, high signal integrity, and minimal heat generation are critical. The choice of capacitors with low dielectric losses helps optimize the performance and efficiency of electronic systems while reducing energy dissipation and heat buildup. The self-healing property is a unique characteristic of certain types of capacitors, particularly film capacitors. It refers to the ability of a capacitor to recover from a localized breakdown or puncture in the dielectric material, allowing the capacitor to continue functioning. Here are some key points about the self-healing property in capacitors. Dielectric breakdown, in some cases, a capacitor may experience a localized breakdown or puncture in the dielectric material. This can be caused by high voltage spikes, overvoltage conditions, mechanical stress, or other factors. Self-repair mechanism, capacitors with the self-healing property are designed with a dielectric material that can repair itself when a breakdown occurs. When a breakdown happens, the localized area with the breakdown or puncture forms a conductive path. The high electric field in that area causes the dielectric material to vaporize, creating a small gap or void. Dielectric recovery, the self-healing mechanism involves the dielectric material near the breakdown point being vaporized and then redeposited as an insulating layer across the small gap or void. This self-repair process restores the dielectric strength in the affected area, isolating it from the electrodes and preventing further breakdown. Continued functionality. After the self-healing process occurs, the capacitor can continue to function, albeit with a slightly reduced capacitance due to the presence of the self-repaired region. The extent of capacitance reduction depends on the size and nature of the self-repaired area. Improved reliability, the self-healing property enhances the reliability and lifespan of capacitors. It helps protect the capacitor from catastrophic failures that could occur due to localized dielectric breakdowns. The self-healing mechanism allows the capacitor to withstand occasional electrical overstress and recover from small dielectric faults, increasing the overall robustness of the capacitor. Limitations While the self-healing property provides a level of protection, it is important to note that capacitors are not immune to all types of electrical stresses or failures. Large or repeated breakdowns in the same area can result in permanent damage to the capacitor. Therefore, it is still crucial to operate capacitors within their specified voltage ratings and avoid continuous overstress conditions. Capacitors with the self-healing property are commonly used in applications where occasional overvoltage conditions or transient electrical stresses may occur. These capacitors offer improved reliability and can continue functioning even after localized dielectric breakdowns, contributing to the overall longevity and performance of electronic systems. 
High voltage ratings in capacitors refer to their ability to withstand and operate reliably at elevated voltage levels without experiencing breakdown or failure. Capacitors with high voltage ratings are designed to handle higher voltages than those with lower ratings. Here are some key points about high voltage ratings in capacitors. Voltage rating. The voltage rating of a capacitor is the maximum voltage that the capacitor can safely handle without the risk of dielectric breakdown or damage. It is typically specified in volts, V, or direct current, DC, voltage, example, 100 V DC. Exceeding the rated voltage can lead to capacitor failure, insulation breakdown, and potentially hazardous conditions. Capacitor types, different types of capacitors have different voltage rating capabilities. Some common capacitor types with high voltage ratings include Ceramic capacitors, ceramic capacitors offer a range of voltage ratings, from a few volts to several kilovolts. They are available in a wide variety of capacitance values and are commonly used in applications that require high voltage handling capabilities. Electrolytic capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, such as aluminum electrolytic and tantalum electrolytic capacitors, are available with high voltage ratings. Aluminum electrolytic capacitors can handle voltage ratings from several volts to hundreds of volts or more. Tantalum electrolytic capacitors typically have lower voltage ratings, ranging from a few volts to several tens of volts. Film capacitors Film capacitors are available with high voltage ratings, making them suitable for applications that require higher voltage handling capabilities. The voltage ratings for film capacitors can range from tens of volts to several kilovolts. Insulating materials and designs Capacitors with high voltage ratings are designed with appropriate insulating materials and construction techniques to ensure sufficient electrical isolation and withstand higher voltage levels. The choice of dielectric material and the physical design of the capacitor play a crucial role in determining its voltage rating. Safety considerations. When working with capacitors with high voltage ratings, it is essential to follow safety precautions such as proper insulation, proper circuit design, and appropriate handling procedures. High voltages can present a risk of electric shock or damage to other components in the circuit. Applications. Capacitors with high voltage ratings are used in a wide range of applications, including power supplies, motor drives, lighting systems, telecommunications equipment, energy storage systems, and high voltage electronic systems. They provide energy storage, voltage regulation, filtering, and decoupling functions in these applications. When selecting capacitors for high voltage applications, it is crucial to choose capacitors with voltage ratings that exceed the expected operating voltage in the circuit. This ensures a safety margin and prevents voltage stress on the capacitors. It is also important to consider other factors such as capacitance value, ESR, temperature stability, and physical size to meet the specific requirements of the application. Low equivalent series resistance, ESR, is a desirable characteristic in capacitors, particularly in applications that require high-frequency operation, low power losses, and efficient energy transfer. ESR represents the internal resistance of a capacitor, which can impact its performance in various ways. Here are some key points about low ESR in capacitors. Definition, equivalent series resistance, ESR, is the effective resistance that combines all the resistive elements within a capacitor. It includes the resistance of the conductive materials, connections, and dielectric losses. ESR is typically expressed in ohms ohm symbol and is characterized by its magnitude and frequency dependence. Energy efficiency, capacitors with low ESR contribute to higher energy efficiency in electronic circuits. Low ESR allows for efficient transfer of energy between the capacitor and the load, minimizing power losses and improving overall circuit performance. Ripple current handling, in power supply applications, capacitors with low ESR are advantageous for handling ripple currents. Ripple currents are alternating currents superimposed on a direct current, and high ESR can result in increased power dissipation and heating. Low ESR capacitors can handle higher ripple currents without excessive power losses. Voltage droop reduction, in decoupling and filtering applications, 
Capacitors with low ESR help reduce voltage droop or voltage drop across the capacitor when there are rapid changes in load current. Low ESR allows the capacitor to respond quickly and efficiently to load changes, maintaining stable voltage levels. High-frequency applications, low ESR capacitors are particularly beneficial in high-frequency circuits. They minimize power losses caused by the resistance in the capacitor, ensuring efficient energy transfer and preserving signal integrity. Capacitor types, different types of capacitors exhibit varying ESR characteristics. For example, ceramic capacitors, ceramic capacitors generally have low ESR, making them suitable for high-frequency applications. However, the ESR of ceramic capacitors can vary depending on the ceramic material and capacitor construction. Solid tantalum capacitors, solid tantalum capacitors typically exhibit low ESR values, making them suitable for applications that require low impedance and high-frequency performance. Aluminum electrolytic capacitors, aluminum electrolytic capacitors generally have higher ESR compared to other capacitor types. However, low ESR variants of aluminum electrolytic capacitors are available for high-performance applications. Film capacitors, film capacitors can have low ESR, particularly certain types such as polypropylene, PP, and polyethylene terephthalate, PET, capacitors. They are often used in applications where low ESR is critical. Temperature and frequency dependency, ESR values can vary with temperature and frequency. It is important to consider the temperature and frequency characteristics of the capacitor to ensure low ESR performance across the required operating conditions. Low ESR capacitors are commonly used in power electronics, switch mode power supplies, motor drives, telecommunications, and audio applications where efficient energy transfer, low power losses, and high frequency performance are essential. When selecting capacitors for low ESR requirements, it is important to consider the specific ESR values, temperature stability, frequency response, voltage ratings, and other specifications that match the application's needs. Applications Low ESR capacitors find application in various electronic systems and circuits where efficient energy transfer, high-frequency performance, and low power losses are important. Here are some common applications. Power electronics, low ESR capacitors are extensively used in power electronic systems such as power supplies, inverters, motor drives, and voltage regulators. They help stabilize voltage levels, filter out noise and ripple currents, and provide energy storage and transfer capabilities with minimal power losses. Switch mode power supplies, SMPS SMPS circuits require capacitors with low ESR to handle high frequency switching and provide effective energy storage and voltage regulation. Low ESR capacitors help reduce power losses, improve efficiency, and maintain stable output voltages. Audio systems, capacitors with low ESR are crucial in audio systems, including amplifiers, speakers, and audio signal processing circuits. They help preserve signal integrity, reduce distortion, and improve the overall audio performance by minimizing losses in the audio signal path. Telecommunications, low ESR capacitors are used in telecommunications equipment such as base stations, routers, and network switches. They contribute to efficient power delivery, noise reduction, and stable signal transmission in high-frequency communication circuits. Automotive electronics, automotive electronics, including engine control units, ECUs, infotainment systems, and electronic power steering, require capacitors with low ESR. Low ESR capacitors can handle high temperatures, vibrations, and demanding conditions while providing efficient energy storage and voltage stability. High-frequency circuits, low ESR capacitors are essential in high-frequency circuits, including radio frequency, RF, circuits, wireless communication systems, radar systems, and microwave applications. They help minimize signal losses, impedance mismatches, and power dissipation in these circuits. LED lighting, low ESR capacitors play a role in LED lighting applications, such as LED drivers and lighting ballasts. They contribute to stable power supply, reduce flickering, and improve overall efficiency in LED lighting systems. 
Consumer electronics, capacitors with low ESR, are widely used in consumer electronic devices like televisions, computers, smartphones, and gaming consoles. They support power supply filtering, decoupling, and efficient energy transfer in these devices. Industrial electronics, in industrial automation, robotics, and control systems, low ESR capacitors help ensure reliable power supply, reduce electrical noise, and enhance the performance of various electronic components and subsystems. These are just a few examples of the numerous applications where low ESR capacitors are used. The specific requirements of each application, including voltage ratings, capacitance values, temperature stability, frequency response, and physical size, should be considered when selecting the appropriate low ESR capacitors for a particular system or circuit. Film capacitors are a type of capacitor that use a thin plastic film as the dielectric material. They are known for their stability, reliability, and wide range of capacitance values. Here are some commonly used types of film capacitors. Polyester film capacitors, mylar capacitors, polyester film capacitors use a polyester, PET, film as the dielectric material. They offer good stability, moderate capacitance values, and are cost-effective for general-purpose applications. They are commonly used in filters, coupling, timing circuits, and bypass applications. Polypropylene film capacitors, Polypropylene film capacitors use a polypropylene PP, film as the dielectric material. They offer excellent temperature stability, low dielectric losses, high insulation resistance, and are suitable for high-performance applications. They are commonly used in audio systems, precision electronics, and applications requiring high accuracy and reliability. Polycarbonate film capacitors Polycarbonate film capacitors use a polycarbonate PC film as the dielectric material. They provide good stability, low losses, and high accuracy. Polycarbonate film capacitors are used in applications requiring high precision and reliability, such as in timing circuits, audio systems, and instrumentation. Polyphenylene sulfide film capacitors, PPS capacitors, PPS film capacitors use a polyphenylene sulfide, PPS, film as the dielectric material. They offer excellent temperature stability, high reliability, and are suitable for demanding applications. PPS capacitors are used in automotive electronics, high temperature environments, and other applications that require stability under harsh conditions. Polyethylene terephthalate PET film capacitors, PET film capacitors use a polyethylene terephthalate PET film as the dielectric material. They provide good electrical properties, stability, and are suitable for general-purpose applications. PET film capacitors are commonly used in filtering, bypassing, and coupling applications. Film capacitors are available in various capacitance values, voltage ratings, and form factors to suit different applications. They are used in power electronics, motor drives, lighting systems, audio equipment, telecommunications, automotive electronics, and many other electronic circuits where stability, reliability, and performance are important factors to consider.